Hello, and welcome back to more Pokemon Snakewood. I probably just overloaded the mic there. We are back, and we have with us, as always, Mr. I Smiley's Eye. Mooga. Mooga. Yes, so in the last episode, we did the beginner stuff, and in this one, we are going to head into Petalburg. So let's go. And it appears to be broken down as well, and there's... What's that backpack on the ground? A medical kit. And we are fully healed. So yeah, this is a kind of a new thing in Pokemon Snakewood. They add these like metal kits, which just kind of lie around in places. And they're actually really convenient, because they basically just save you the trouble of having to run back to a Pokemon Center over and over and over again. Yes. Oh, she's a trainer? Flash. Okay. <laughs> Ghost Girl Danny. Oozle. <laughs> it's an oozle. <laughs> it's orange. What happened to Squirtle? It went from blue to orange. It's bubbling me. It is taking these hits pretty well. Hey man, it's bulky. It's that bulky water. Please, okay. Alright, so we defeated her. Grew to level 9. Headbutt? Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Not bad. Now Zigzagoon is really broken. Ah. <laughs> oh, 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 hey. <laughs> Medical kit. Wounds the Pokemon are completely healed. All right, so let's check out what's in this house down here. There's a woman over here. This woman appears to have had her legs gnawed off, which accounts for why her corpse is still on this chair. Will you loot her corpse? Yes. <laughs> the leftovers. <laughs> so, we go into some random building, find a dead woman whose legs have been gnawed off, loot her corpse, get leftovers. Yeah. That's basically what this game is about. Think about it. What the, think about what those leftovers actually are. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and give these to, uh... Baltoy, I guess. Uh, and yeah. Because Zigzagoon can pick up items, which it actually hasn't freaking done yet. Ex oh, because... It has oblivious. Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> I want to pick up. No! Alright, so let's just keep going. You're, you're a cat. How'd you know that? You look like your brother. Are you going after him? I nodded. <laughs> then will you bring peace and put the dead back in their graves? Yeah, sure, why not? I believe you. Your brother and his girlfriend were headed to into Petalburg Woods... When they pass through here. Now please. Go in. They're here. Quick. Run for it. I'll hold them off for as long as I can. Grog. I said run, Cap. Don't worry about me. So. We saw some random guy. And he told us our brother went through here. And that he went into Petalburg Woods. So basically we just learn to go the only way that is not back so yeah and if we go back over here everything's peaceful again because <laughs> the zombies just ignore us okay let's see it's impossible to enter the doors are firmly led shut by a mess of skulls and stuff so gym's locked and uh normally in ruby you would go in there and do the whole wally thing but that is not the case in this game well, let's see what's in here doesn't appear to be anything at first but if you talk to this crate a supply crate. It contains potion. Take a potion? Yes. So you can get a potion from it. And if you talk to it again... A supply crate! It contains potion! Take a potion? Sure! Obtain light <laughs> potion. And if you talk to it again... A supply crate! It contains <laughs> potion! <laughs> Take a potion? <laughs> yes. So basically, if you wanted to, you could just sit here and get infinite potions. Which I probably will do... Uh, off screen at some point because uh, yeah it's pretty useful to have unlimited healing just for on the road heal ups so let's just uh, continue on to route 104 let's see what this guy has Zon Glurg Zon looks kind of it seems disinclined to attack perhaps it's the salty sea air <laughs> okay let's see this girl oh no, these are my items. <laughs> Did he just say that girl was his item? Looter Lawrence. He's a looter. Because this is the apocalypse. 
people loot. So what I'm going to do is change headbutt to this first slot. Just because that's going to be the move I'm going to be spamming all the time. It's not going to do you very good. Much good, sir. You got to a KO'd. Taylo. Let's just throw out ball toy. Why not? Go for that confusion. I know Taylo has really bad defenses, so let's see. Focus energy! He wants that crit. Ah, I wanted that to do more. And he doesn't get the crit, so turn wasted. And dead. Okay. Not even my stolen item could protect me. He didn't even use any items. <laughs> I bet if I got his Pokemon to red health, he might have used items. Okay, let's see. I've lost everything. The zombies eat my family and destroy my home, and what little I have left was stolen by looters. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see what this guy has. I'm trying to extract some salt from the seawater. If a zombie tastes salt, it turns back into a corpse. Haitian legend says so. Aha. So he's talking about Haiti, because... Voodoo and zombies and stuff. I just tried to get Mr. Briny to take me to Duford because it's an island and zombies can't cross running water. But Mr. Briny tried to eat me. <gasps> oh no! Okay, so... Actually, I remember this guy being kind of tough. Although I am at a pretty good amount of level. Yes, amount of level. So let's battle him. I will defend my right to thief to the death! Ludo Richie. And he has a Surskit, which is level 11. You know, man, Surskit is one of the more threatening Pokemon out there. <laughs> oh, yeah, just look at it. It just looks so threatening. Look at those little red things under its eyes. It hasn't gotten enough sleep. Nope. Headbutt. All right, well, that actually went off pretty smoothly. We grew another level. Yay. I uh, defeat Ludorichi. Or maybe just till I'm defeated. All right, so let's grab these berries. Really quick, come on. Now is it Pecha berries or Pekka berries? I always said Pecha berries. I remember I always said Pekka berries, but I think in the anime they actually do call them Pecha berries. Okay, actually I might have to do some grinding for the trainer that's coming up. But let's look around and see what else we can find here. So Zigzagoon. Not really going to care about it, though. So this guy. I'm Larry the Looter. <laughs> oh, go ahead. I've looted so much stuff that I have plenty to spare. Take a look at my wares and see if there's anything you want. <laughs> so Larry the Looter is a mart that's right here. <laughs> and you can buy just basic stuff, except there's a super potion and a and water you'll, bottle. You'll see him around random places. Yeah, so it's pretty cool because... The towns, they kind of make them destroyed, but so you can still have a mart, they just add in Larry the Looter, which it makes sense. The items are still around. I'm not going to uh, actually get anything, though. Oh, dang it. A shroomish! Uh, I'm not going to catch it, though. Uh, okay. Oh, come on, come on. Super Potion. Not bad. They're actually still called Super Potions. Silicoon. Run. <laughs> it's too <laughs> scary. <laughs> okay. Let's see. <laughs> I've been running from the zombies for days now. But they're everywhere. And my Pokemon can barely carry on. Oh, you have a spare potion. Please, please, can I have it? Sure. Thank you so much. Literally, you saved my life. Please take this small gift in exchange. And we get the Ender and Talon. Which oh, and she disappears. Which is sharp beak in essence. They actually rename a lot of items in this game, and some of them are actually pretty funny. So yeah, uh, let's head back into the forest now that we've gotten that Ender in Talon. And let's see. I think yeah, there's a train right there, and we found a Wormpool. So good. The Wormpool. Now, I'm hoping to find a certain Pokemon that's here just because I had a really hard time finding it before. I'm probably not going to actually put it on my party, but... And I I found literally like 12 of them just running through here. Yeah. No, you must go on, man. There are things so powerful and terrifying, I can't let you throw your life away like this. Apparently, he has a high voice. Because he's a survivor. 
<laughs> and there's a slack off. Let's confusion it. Oh, that took that quite well. Oh, yes, the leftovers. <laughs> oh, they hurt <laughs> one HP, dang. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were supposed to... Oh, wait, they're like 6%? So It's like one sixteenth of your health. No. I should be getting like... Oh, I have to get to 32 before I st start recovering more than 1 HP. You recover a whole 2 HP. Oh, yeah. 2 HP recovery, man. That's where it's at. And we're just going to wreck these guys with Ball Toy. Ball Toy is the ultimate sweeper. Just got to click Confusion and win. That's how you <laughs> use Ball Toy. <laughs> I'm just gaining HP from this. I'm going to grow a level. Woo! I wonder when I learned Rock Tomb. Oh, Ralts. I'm going to have to uh, throw a Zigzagoon in here for this. All right. Ralts. Headbutt. Oko. <laughs> you, you actually can find Ralts in this game, but they're actually not on the route where they originally are in Ruby. Little fact there. Player defeated Survivor Lyle. Please don't go. You'll die too. I got $224 for win. So we beat him. And then up here... I get the feeling there's an extremely powerful trainer ahead. Yes. I have the feeling there's... <laughs> extremely powerful trainer. So let's see how long I've been recording. Uh, so I think I'm going to cut here, do some grinding, and when we get back, we will take her on. So, see you in a minute. <gasps> see ya. Okay, we are back. I have done a bit of grinding. I'll show you the results of that. Got Ball Toy to level 12, Zigzagoon to level 14, and I have given Zigzagoon the leftovers because it is going to be our main guy in this fight. Because, uh, yeah, you'll see why. So, anyway, let's just walk up here. And uh, Ball Toy learns Psybe. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Whoa. The pain. Young one, your body looks in better shape than this decrepit one. I shall possess you instead. Okay, so our hard boss fight-ish thing is against a floating legless corpse, Zabulon. And she has a hound sour. Which is a headless hound. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to just sand tomb it as she uses an attack plus, which is X attack in essence. So get hit with that sand tomb. And even though it's super effective in stab and it's lower level, it still doesn't do a KO. And of course I freaking miss. And uh, no. uh, So my strategy here is just to spam sand tomb. And I'm not gonna be able to hit. Tackle miss. Yeah. I really hope it doesn't bring her down to red, because then she'll use a super potion. Most likely. No! 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 Oh, at least I'm hitting now, though. Although that's good, because then maybe she won't use super potions on her uh, next Pokemon. Yeah, that would be helpful. That would be a lot better. Come on, Baltoy. You're not supposed to lose to this. <laughs> no! Oh. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I can just bring in Zigzag. I could just bring in Zigzagoon anyway and just yeah. speed it. Okay, next Pokemon is Dirt Crow. So let's throw out Zigzagoon. Because uh, this is a Murkrow. <laughs> Except it's got a pin pet and is golden. Yep. <laughs> and this thing is a bit of a beast. And uh, it's basically completely walls ball toy, so we're just going to spam headbutt. Goes for peck, very good. Ooh, that's a nice damage. So hopefully, since she used a potion on her hound sour, she won't use it on this Murkrow. And actually, I might need to. Might need to heal. Yeah, I'm going to heal. Good thing she's not using glare. 
Yes, we beat her. Yes. <laughs> There's the credit. <laughs> Extremely hard boss fight beaten. Because <laughs> I grinded and stuff. Okay. Player defeated Demon Corp Zabudon. Back. Such strength. I got 1460 for win. <laughs> we demons may possess corpses, but we are honorable. You have defeated me, and so I shall warn you that stronger demons than I lurk ahead in the city you call Rustboro. <gasps> Corpse crumbled into dust. The demon flitted back to the netherworld. What's this? Looted a stone badge from the dust of the corpse. So, <laughs> even though we... Oh, wait, there's still more text. This badge, it seems familiar. I think I remember something. Flashback. I can feel a flashback coming. Flashback. <laughs> this stone oh. badge raises the attack of my Pokemon. <laughs> I got it from Ghibli to Roxanne. <laughs> Erg, that flashback hurt my brain. But I remember where these come from. These gym badges. The gym leaders have them. And the gym leaders are strong. <laughs> so what could possibly have happened to Rustboro that even the gym leader was defeated? Better investigate with extreme caution. Yeah, so Extreme caution. So that flashback caused the forest to get a lot darker. For some reason. And we got a stone badge from just some demon thing we fought in the woods. And most, more importantly, we've learned that not only are there zombies, there are also demons and seemingly other supernatural forces at work. So, yeah. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Pokemon Snakewood. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Peace! See ya! <laughs>